Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another review. So today we have another SH Figwatch Dragon Ball Z figure, and it's Son Goku, Legendary Super Saiyan. So this is how he appears in Namek when he's fighting Frieza, uh, right near the end when he bulks up all the way. And it looks super good. Um, when they announced it, I was really excited because the mass of the figure, the arms are bigger than we've ever gotten before on this size figure. Of course, we got Brawly with huge arms, but... We've never gotten a Goku with these proportions, and it's nice to see that because um, they're aiming towards more face accuracy lately, and now it looks like they're trying to make the musculature also look more how the anime did. So that's very good and excited to check them out. So without any further ado, let's take them out the box and let's get a better look. So let's take a look at everything included. He does include three extra face plates. One is like a gritted teeth face and then like a cocky expression, then a full on yelling face, as well as like the stern neutral face that comes in the box. He also brings five different pairs of symmetrical hands, which is a nice amount. And one of them has a little peg hole for the Kamehameha. Also, he brings a different hair scope so you can have them with like a powered up effect and you can even change this bang out on the other head scope here so you can get a different look for Goku. So three different options there. That's pretty dope. And then of course it does bring the Kamehameha effect which you have to port in. So I'll do all that and I'll show you the Kamehameha. All right, so here he is onto the rotating platform and first impressions are really, really good. This thing looks amazing. I love the hair color and just the proportions of the muscles. He looks so like brolic as he should. He's supposed to look super buff like this on Namek. So I think that they nailed it. Um, now, also in terms of the color of the skin, I know a lot of people were complaining that it didn't look good, but it's not that noticeable here under the studio lighting. And in person, it's even less noticeable. So I don't think it's a deal breaker at all. I think it's just fine. Now, also, um, the plastic on the clothes seems to be a lot softer and it's more pliable. So that's probably going to be good in terms of like it's not going to break or anything. And it also is probably not going to get in the way of articulation. So that's a good thing. So let's take a quick look at the other head sculpt that it includes. All right. So here he is with the other head sculpt with the powered up hair, like when he's charging up his key. And I think that looks pretty dope. And it doesn't have the huge gapping at the hairline how some people showed. You just got to kind of like finagle with it. And here's the other bang attachment that you can add to give like a third look, which is probably like my least favorite of the three, but it's still done pretty nice. So not bad at all. It's good that they gave us three options. So here he is with the Kamehameha effect. And I think that looks pretty good. It's kind of a pain in the ass to assemble. I was actually trying to pour it in this side like a retard. And then um, I figured it out after like five minutes or so. As embarrassing as it is to admit it. But we're keeping it real. It took me five minutes. All right. So overall, the paint and detail on this guy are pretty much non-existent. Of course, the boots are painted. And the hair does have shading on it, which is always a bonus. The face plates are also very nicely painted, but aside from that, it seems like there could be a little bit of shading going on here because it is lighter here and a little bit darker there. Yeah, because the back seems like a darker orange and the front it may have been sprayed a little bit with yellow or something. So there is a bit of shading going on there. It's hard to tell with this different type of plastic. But it's definitely more orange here than it is in the front. Um, he also has a bunch of scratches all throughout the pants and all throughout the skin. But I'm not sure how well it's picking up on camera. But they are all over his chest. They're all over his arms. They're even on the pants. You can see that one there. They're just kind of subtle. I think that the ones on the Mastered Ultra Instinct, they might be a little bit deeper and more noticeable. Scuffed up in the boots too. So overall, there's a lot of detail going on. And I do plan to maybe bring that out with a little bit of um, a wash. Or actually, I'm going to use my Gundam markers and just fill in those scratches with like blood and then 
dirt and stuff just to make it look more how he did on Namek when he was all in the middle of battle. He was super bloody and dirty, so I think that'll actually amplify the figure. I will share that too when I do. I might do it and add it to the end of this review. If not, I'll make a separate video. But yeah, that's it. Let's go into the articulation now. So he can look up that much. He can look down very well. Good tilt side to side and neck movement. That feels really good. Almost feels like a Mafex neck. Uh, let's see. The arms can do full 360. And they go up about that high. That's very good. And then it's worth noting that the articulation feels really smooth. Like everywhere. Nothing's tight. Everything's just perfect. It's really good. The butterfly joint works pretty good. And it doesn't show that huge gap that you get when you bring it all the way forward. So I think that's pretty good. Let's see. I think he can uh, definitely touch his hands better than Gohan did. Because you couldn't make him hold his arm when you were doing the blast. You could do it with this one. So that's very well done. Uh, here, let's see. We got a swivel at the chest and then a pretty good crunch. We also got swivel at the midsection and a good crunch as well overall combined that's pretty good and then it can kick up oh that's ugly can't unsee that you want to keep this covering that because that looks pretty gross actually uh he can kick up this far nice deep bend at the knee we've got a swivel up here at the quad and then swivel and a hinge at the ankle it's done differently like the ankle can drop down more than it has before and then it slides with more range than it has before and the side to side is very good so they did the ankles better but it is also worth noting that it was kind of hard to make them stand because my ankles are a little bit flimsy i don't think it's like that on all the figures though because i do have another figure that i had been messing with and i didn't notice that on it so I'm not going to mark that against it. It might just be this copy. But overall, the articulation is great. Honestly, this new pliable plastic, it just makes it like so that you can do side kicks. You can even kick back, even though he's got a butt cheek. And yeah, it's just very, very poseable and it feels nice. It feels like super smooth. It doesn't feel like it's going to break and nothing is stiff. Just very, very well done. This is so here he is next to Mastered Ultra Instinct, which as you can see, he's a lot bigger than him. He's a bit taller and he's also just way more buff, which looks dope in my opinion. Um, I'm probably going to add the shading how I did to this Mastered Ultra Instinct into the little scuffs and scratches that I brought. So hopefully that makes it look a little better to the pants as well. And then here he is next to some of the other Super Saiyan Gokus I own. And I think that he looks the best face-wise for sure and proportions of musculature. Um, the other ones do a couple of things better. Like the ankles on the other one are a little bit better. At least sturdy-wise. I like the mobility on these. They're just a little bit flimsy. Probably going to have to add like a little bit of clear like nail polish to it or something so it doesn't fall over so easy. But yeah... Uh, he is the best looking one in my opinion. The hair also looks the best. It's nice and spread out. It's not too small. It's like the right shape. Very good. Also has like extra lining detail on it. So very well done. All right. So final thoughts on this guy. I think I was absolutely blown away by it actually. I didn't expect it to be this good. The articulation is through the roof. I actually think it's so much fun. I've been posing it in between takes just forever. It's taking longer than it should. And just changing the head sculpts and the arms. And I don't really do that that often. I just kind of like rush through the review. But that's how fun he is to play with. And it just looks great. And like I said, all new sculpt and then new faces that look great. The hair looks great. We get an extra head sculpt. We get a bunch of hands. Then we get the Kamehameha effect as well. So overall, we get a lot of good stuff here. Um, it was $70, I think. So it was a hefty price, but it did bring a lot of good stuff. And we got 3.0 articulation, but we got it with more pliable plastic that just makes it more usable. 
And overall, it's just very, very nicely done. I think it's my favorite figure that we've gotten all year. And it kind of makes the other figures look a little wonky. Like I had it set up next to the other Super Saiyans. And this one by far looks more accurate. It looks more like Goku. It made the other guys look like some imposters. Because they look like Goku until you see this guy. Then you're like, wait, that's Goku. The other ones just kind of look like Goku. So the faces are more accurate. The body shapes and the musculature are more accurate to what we've seen in the anime. So overall, just really good. And it's really fun to play with. I know I've been saying that. I'm kind of gushing over this guy. But um, what I'm trying to say is that it's a great figure. I definitely recommend it. It's like a 10 out of 10. Maybe uh, maybe a 9 out of 10. I don't really give a rating system. It's not perfect because it did have trouble standing on the rotating surface. It stands perfectly on a, on a flat surface. But on the rotating... Um, platform i got it kept falling for whatever reason which other figures stand up fine so i'm not sure why that was the case but yeah um this thing's amazing get out there and get them while you still can i'm pretty sure that it's going to go up in price if it ends up selling out but at the same time it might get a few restocks so before then make sure that you grab it because it's definitely one worth owning and I don't even know what to say. I don't have the other um, Namek Goku. The I forget what it's called. The um, Legendary Super Saiyan or Awakening Super Saiyan. I never owned it, but this one looks even better than that one. So I'm glad I got it. Definitely recommend it. So that'll be it for this review, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Take care and peace.